Hi, this is Michael, and this is my review of the Centec USB power meter. This is a well-made and very useful little device. I've got it right here. You can see it's uh, about the size of an older style USB thumb drive. Uh, not very large, but it's in a hard plastic shell, and it has a single button on it right here, and this is how you toggle between the four readings that you will get on this. Uh, this will measure amps, this will measure voltage, uh, it'll measure peak amps, and it'll measure minimum voltage. And uh, all you have to do is plug it in to right now, uh, I've got a battery pack here for instance. Uh, I will turn this on and then I'll plug this into it. And uh, the display will indicate zero, zero, zero. It always starts off in amps. And I have nothing connected to this, so that's uh, what I would expect. Now I have a portable Bluetooth speaker here, and I'm just going to plug the, um, as if I were going to charge the speaker, I'll just plug the USB cable into there. Now it takes about three seconds before you get your first reading, and uh, it's important not to have anything hooked up to the power meter until you plug the power meter into the power source. So here's the little button here. Now this is going to toggle between amps, voltage, and you'll see it takes about three seconds before the reading comes up. This is peak amps, and this is minimum voltage. Now if you want to get uh, to a different setting, maybe you want to get, okay we're at amps again here, if we want to go to minimum voltage I can just click this quickly three times, it'll go right to the voltage, I don't have to click and wait and click and wait and click and wait, but it will still, still take about three seconds to get to that reading. So I find this to be uh, quite accurate as far as I know, and uh, this is very handy for me, I test a lot of uh, battery packs, external batteries, and I also like to know whether the cables that I'm using make a difference, and this really lets me uh, check that very easily. And people with uh, radio control vehicles and who do a lot of that with batteries will really appreciate something like this. Now, there's only one sort of a uh, issue with this. It's not really a big deal, but if you are using a wall-mounted AC charger and you plug this into that, you'll notice that the display is now facing the wall. So it really, uh, in some situations, it's not that usable. But there is an easy way around that limitation. You just need to get a USB extension cable. And once you get that, you are then able to plug the extension cable into the uh, charger and then you can spin this around however you want. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I'll answer it if I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching and have a great day.